Thomas from Coach <coughs> Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Notre Dame. It's a hard fought weekend. Uh, typical hockey East games, both games come down the last minute with a goalie pulled. And unfortunately for, not, for us tonight, we just couldn't get one by Peterson. Um, special teams, certainly, with a difference. Obviously, they get a power play goal, and we weren't able to capitalize on our three or two, two plus. And, you know, I thought that. Uh, not only did we score on the power play, but we it really zapped some of our momentum. Uh, I didn't think, you know, sometimes you may not score on a power play, but you can get some momentum off of it. But the way our power plays looked early, it kind of deflated us a little bit. I thought it gave Notre Dame a little bit of a of a pick pick me up. And uh, you know, obviously they stopped the third. They did a great job hemming us in our own end. I thought we were on their heels a little bit. And I thought as the third period went on, we started playing better and getting some chances, and just couldn't get one by them. Great goalie, they're a good team, they're well coached, they've had a great year. Um, it's just uh, disappointing from our end because I thought I thought we played well both nights. And uh, you know, obviously you're hoping to get a point tonight to allow yourself to get a bye, but it didn't happen. And as I told our guys, you're hockey players, you can get to play more hockey. So that's how you gotta look at it, right? It's, you know, obviously, uh, Lick our wounds from tonight. They can feel sorry for themselves the next 24 hours, but you get to play more hockey. That's how you got to look at it. So, uh, opportunity to continue to get better, and it's playoff time. It's the best time of year. Yeah, what do you think specifically went wrong on the power play tonight? <clears throat> Just, uh, we lost a lot of battles. You know, sometimes what can happen on a power play is you lose sight of the fact you're still going to play hockey within a power play. You know, go here, do this, do that, and you got to play hockey within the power play. And I think when we're not effective on our power play, we don't play hockey within our power play. We go to our spots. And uh, I just thought we lost some one-on-one -on -one battles. I thought um, we were a little inept coming up ice. Uh, and it cost you. Coach, did you feel good about some of the chances you were getting on Peterson? It's just one of those nights where he was kind of everywhere. Yeah, I mean, we had some golden chances without question. And so did they early in the third. I mean, our guy made two big saves in the third period to allow us to kind of hang around, you know? so. Our guy played well too, but certainly he made some huge saves in the last seven or eight minutes when I thought we kind of started taking a little bit of the momentum uh, in the game. And you know, the save he makes on O'Regan was unbelievable, and he had a couple other bell ringers too. And <clears throat> hey, he's an elite goalie, you know. What do you think Sean was doing right to keep you guys in this one? He was square to the puck. He uh, was aggressive. Um, you know, the things he's been doing for a long time. Yeah, the slow start to the third. Do you think that was more of what they were doing or what you weren't doing? Uh, I think it was more what they were doing. They really did a good job of protecting it, cycling it. I would like to have seen us maybe outnumber them a little bit more on the puck, but you know, I think we were a little deflated after the, you know, emotionally. I thought we were a little deflated after the second period because I thought we had some great chances at the end of the second as well to maybe get one. And uh, you know, guys were a little bit frustrated, I think, and you know, they uh, they did a really good job early in the third. Anything else? Thanks, Coach.